In this video, we are going to look about steady flow energy equation. So, steady flow energy equation is an equation that balances the energy into the system and out of the system. So, steady flow is a flow where pressure at a point in a fluid flow and velocity at that point and density remains same. If you consider a fluid flowing through a pipe or anywhere else, a point is considered and at that point measurements are taken at various time. So the pressure, velocity and density remains constant at all the time. Then the flow is considered as steady flow. This steady flow energy equation balances the inlet energy and outlet energy. From the first law of thermodynamics, we know that total energy total energy entering the system is equal to total energy getting out of the system. Why? If some energy is stored inside the system, then that energy is internal energy. If there is no increase in internal energy, then the energy must have gone out of the system. So, at that time, the energy that enters the system is equal to the energy that goes out of the system. If the energy that enters the system is not equal to the energy that goes out of the system, then there is a change in internal energy of the system. In that case, there is a change in the internal energy of the system. So, energy in is equal, should be equal to energy out. If it is not, then energy inlet as... So, there is an internal energy, change in internal energy then there is a change in internal energy. So, for deriving steady flow energy equation, we considered the system to be an open system. So, there are other systems. A open system is a system where both mass, this is an open system, where both mass, energy can go into the system and can come out of the system but closed system is a system where only energy could go into the system and come out of the system not the mass mass cannot go into the system or come out of the system the mass inside the system remains always same and there is another type of system which is known as isolated system where both energy and mass cannot enter the system and come out of the system. So in these T type of system today for deriving steady flow energy equation we are considering open system. Because only in open system, the flow of fluid can be seen. In this closed system, we cannot see the flow of fluid. So, we consider open system. Let me draw open system. So, the inlet point is Z1 distance higher than the datum line 
and the point Z2 is the outlet is Z2 meters higher than the datum line. So now now let us consider a fluid with pressure P1 specific volume V1 and velocity C1 and with internal energy U1 above the height Z1 enters the system at point 1 at cross section 1 after entering the system the fluid comes out of the system with internal energy U2 pressure P2 and specific volume V2 and velocity C2 some energy supplied to the system and some work is taken out of the system some energy is given to the system and work output is taken out of the system if we balance these energies that is potential energy plus kinematic energy plus internal energy plus flow energy plus heat equal to so potential energy of inlet fluid at cross section 1 kinem, kinet, kinetic energy of inlet fluid at cross section 1 internal energy of fluid at cross section 1 and flow energy of that fluid at cross section 1 and the heat that is given to the system is equal to potential energy of the fluid at cross section 2 kinetic energy of the fluid at cross section 2 internal energy of the fluid at cross section 2 plus flow energy of the fluid at cross section 2 plus work because the work is taken out of the system so if we balance these things the potential energy is nothing but gravity into the height of the cross section 1 above the datum line so gravity multiplied to the height of the cross section above the datum line plus kinetic energy is depends on the velocity so the kinetic energy is nothing but c1 square divided by 2 c1 is the velocity at inlet of the fluid then internal energy internal energy depends on u so it's u1 at cross section 1 and at last sorry flow energy flow energy is depends on the pressure and volume so p1 v1 so pressure into volume is known as flow energy plus heat q is supplied to the system is equal to the same thing potential energy at cross section 2 with the, which is z2 meter higher than datum line plus kinetic energy c2 square divided by 2 plus u2 plus p2 v2 that is flow volume at cross section 2 plus work w so if we balance this equation this equation this balanced energy equation is known as steady flow energy equation so here 
we already know that enthalpy is equal to internal energy plus pressure volume work here in this equation we could see there is internal energy and pressure volume work flow energy so this together is replaced by enthalpy h1 and these together is replaced by enthalpy h2 since specific enthalpy is a thermodynamic thermodynamic property it can be easily found even this u1 and p1 can be easily found but this enthalpy is the property of the fluid that can be found easily using various um, various methods so that's it friend this is the final equation